Yeah. 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 Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my day walk on. Man, we got a special guest in here today, y'all. She really don't need no introduction. As I always say, mm -hmm. um, you know, she's one of the people we've been trying to get on the show for a long time. <laughs> and, you know, she's here now, you know, and I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to be like that. You know, I, I really think she's one of the dopest uh, lyricist uh, when it comes to what she does it's she can't be denied um, has a hell of a hell of a story as well man Miss Nina Loretta is in the building what's up what's stand up, up. <laughs> are you gonna hit that <laughs> no, <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta we gotta get into your business man uh, we, we know we, we know a, a little bit about right. you it's mm -hmm. okay it's okay <laughs> get your chair right you got a lot to work with there we've seen it when you come he in he said we got a lot to yeah. work with junk in the trunk junk in the trunk she come Speaking in here doing that, a we gotta drop me and Lil Ronnie new song on here too much uh, booty in the pen hey oh. so uh, just go ahead and give me a spiel man we wanna know about you your background, who you are. We want to know the essence of who Nina Loretta is, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Where she come from? What the hell going on? So I'm from um, Winsboro, Louisiana. Ooh. I was born in Monroe, Louisiana, raised in Winsboro. It's like it's the country. Like you got to tell me. I just went through that the other night. I oh, just went through Winsboro. What? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's where I'm from. You know, born and raised. What a Louisiana accent. I don't uh, hear the accent. You don't hear the accent? I hear it. Everybody ain't got to talk everybody like that from New Orleans. Everybody call me country, though. <laughs> exactly. so everybody call me country, though. But I don't know. I um I used to write poetry growing up. So, like, when I was I was 12, I got in the studio with these dudes called, they had this label called uh, Boss Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And they, they, like, they told me, come in there and rap since I say I can rap. And shit, I started rapping and I blew them niggas' mind. I was 12. Wow. So, like, me and my other little cousin, she was 10, and my other cousin was 11. We got this group, which you can YouTube and everything. We had this group called um, 3YG, Three Young Girls. So, we was just um, the little rappers in the city. We, we came up quick in the city, though, like most popular girls in the city. So, it got to the point where we used to fight every weekend, every show. We had to fight. Like, it, it was bad, bad. We were some bad kids. But, like, that's how I started rapping. Yeah, so you, uh, okay, but let's go back to your just childhood, being children, like um, like when you was coming up, your mother, your father, were you in a single parent home or were you in a, were your mother and father together your whole life or what, what's up? Nah, uh, I had a stepdaddy and I think when I was 12, like when I started rapping, I moved out of my mama's house. And you I moved started. out at 12? Yeah. What the I hell, bad. man? I was bad. Bro, why you keep bringing these girls over here to leave home so early? <laughs> My nigga, what's going on? I ain't gonna say his name. I'm gonna put the nigga out there like that. But all the girls he bring so by leave so home early. You moved out or you got kicked out? She kicked out. I would her ass say it was out. kicked out. I, I, I would say my mom, mom had four kids. I was the only girl and she couldn't handle me. So it was like, oh. she let me go stay with a, a family member. And that family member couldn't, well, that family member couldn't really handle me too. So I was, I was in the street. And you were the her. oldest? Yeah. But the mm. family member couldn't handle, why they can't handle Nina Loretta? What was she you doing? Mom, it, so it's like, it was your mouth. With a, with yeah. a girl, it's like, if my mama can't tell me what to do, you not going to tell me what to do. Type. But you know what? If you couldn't deal, with, if your mama couldn't deal with you, I mean, you probably was just like your mama. Do you looking back now? Do you think that you just like your mama? Be real, I'm not like her. No, she's I'm like, on a whole nother uh, level than what she is. <laughs> okay, okay. It's so just, where, I'm different, right? Yeah. So, so where was your dad at this time? Um, my dad was around. My dad was like one of them quiet, laid back dads. So I had my mom was like one of them ones who put you on child support. You ain't seeing your kids. Oh, damn. <laughs> tell us your daddy don't want to see you. <laughs> but you knew you knew your dad. I used to go around. Yeah, like when I when I started staying with my cousin when I was twelve. That's when I um when I moved out with my cousin. I got pregnant at um fifteen. Mm. So when I got pregnant, I went to stay with my dad and my grandma. So. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That that's good that you know he actually helped you at that time. 
Yeah, my dad actually helps right now with my kids, like big, big help. Like whatever he didn't do with me, he making up for it right now. Did wow. you build your relationship with your mom after yeah, that? Yeah, me and my mom, we good. You good? That's good. So when did you, okay, so fast forward, 12, you're doing the music. You said 15, you got pregnant. When did you really start taking the music seriously? Because, you know, being pregnant at 15, <coughs> and doing, did you finish school? No, so... When I got pregnant when I was 15, I had my baby and I was still going to school. But like mm -hmm. I said, we was in this rap group. We was like, I ain't gonna lie, the most popular little kids in, in the city. So we had to fight a lot. So it got to the point where we start fighting with weapons like knives and stuff. And it got bad to the point where it used to happen at school. So my mama sent me to a boot camp mm. when I was um, 16 going on 17. So she took me out of school and sent me to that boot camp, and I got my GED at that boot camp, okay. military camp in Shreveport. Mm. But did you ever stab somebody? I actually, so I had a fight one time, and um, after we finished fighting, it's funny because I'm cool with Mr. Hit That Hoe now, but- You stabbed that nigga. You stabbed no, him? No, no, you no, that nigga. no, his Mr. Hit That got the dudes no, in his no. damn stomach. Well, while we was fighting, his song was playing, and so <laughs> after we got <laughs> finished me. fighting, I pushed her off me, and I started doing this dance. Damn. So they trying to run to the car, and I reach up in the window, and I start stabbing up the seats, trying to stab them, but they move it to the side, but I'm actually trying to get to them. Damn, so you saying so, Mr. Yeah. Hood, Mr. Hit That turned you up? Turn me up. <laughs> damn! <laughs> <laughs> turn me. And you no, did I, that all by yourself she was nah, young. Was like me you had me, a group of people we had you. this little group called 3YG me and my cousins it was just us three we used to, that we was used to fight was about 14 15 at the time no she said she was 16 at this time no right? she had to go to boot camp at oh, 16 yeah. no it, it, it was before I got pregnant okay, so it was before, before I got pregnant yeah about 14 15 they was younger than me they was like a year younger than me damn yeah we you can go YouTube us we got a fight on YouTube jumping people like wow, <laughs> damn girl yeah we yeah Louisiana always did come yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> Terry Cherry really, talk about that all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you think about Louisiana, man, and it, 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 will you? Can you see yourself staying there, living there again? No, <laughs> I have to ask that because most of the time, being from somewhere else myself, it's like, damn, man, it's gonna be hard to go back because the resources are different and the way people move is different. No, I, I would honestly say. My life is my my best years have been out of Louisiana. Really? Yeah. It's like when I left, my life just started going. Mm. Uh, Damn. So you. And how old were you when you left Louisiana? I was twenty four. Mm. Twenty four, twenty five. Now I I had just signed the Boosie, so I was. I was, I was about like to ask you about 24, that. Twenty four, twenty five. So when yeah. you okay, you don't just sign the Boosie, okay? <laughs> That most niggas come on here, they try to pull and move. I just said, no, no, it was a process, okay? <laughs> yeah. Tell me the process to how you even be met Boosie, be became uh, 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 even in his sight to say, I'm gonna sign Nina Loretta. So I had this song called Who Is You? And it was, it was already going up in like my city and stuff in Louisiana. It was on the radio and everything. So it, it, was, it was getting me pretty popular. So, um, we actually went out there where Boosie was. We went to his house and I played some of my music for him. And it's funny because when I played the music for him, I'm kind of shy. So I'm just sitting in the back in the studio. Everybody in there, his whole little clique, because it's his birthday. So they finna go out anyways. He's sitting there rolling his blunt. They playing the music. Everybody in there like, who the fuck, this, who the fuck is this? She dope as fuck. I'm just sitting there in the back. I'm not saying nothing. But my manager at the time is like, there she go right there. And they all look back. And they're like, damn, she cold. And then they see my picture, and they're like, damn, she cold. And they're like, yeah, we want to work with her. they like, come to the club with us. So we went to the club with them for his birthday, and I just been rocking with her. I had started rocking with him since. Wow. So that when did he, how did he approach the fact of, hey, I want to sign you? <laughs> it really wasn't even approached. Like I said, he said, come Come um come so, come out with us. I went out with them and I just start being there all the time. Like every week, I was staying in Louisiana at the time, so I'm coming to Atlanta all the time, all the time, all the time. And like within a month of me just going to shows and stuff with them, we signed a contract. That's we what get I was a contract to printed up, mm -hmm. and we signed the contract. And that's cool. Okay, uh, and and are you still under that contract now? No, my contract uh, expired. How in March. does that happen? Like oh oh, because it had a, it had, a it had a limit on it. Yeah, so the, that's what I'm getting to. The limit was three years. So 
it, it expired and like I still fuck with them but it's like if you, you couldn't do nothing with me in three years then I'm not going to Did y'all ever bring out. anything out or do anything that was that, that you felt was uh, what help your career? Let's be real. Have they did anything? Have, yeah, yeah. When y'all guys well, after you signed, was it a thing where you guys went up together? Or what you felt like? I you would could've... say after I signed, I went up in a way where like I, I'm not gonna like I would say being with Badass Entertainment it helped my name, it helped me grow a, a fan base. Like my followers went up, my fan base went up a little bit. But as far as them doing anything for me, as far as promotion, marketing, boom, 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 it was like I was put on the shelf and like. Everybody felt like, damn, she hard. Like, why? Why ain't nobody doing? Even when I did drop, it was like, why ain't nobody pushing you harder? Boom, boom, boom. But it's like the same time, we had labels trying to work, but my management was boosting them. They weren't just going for anything. So it was a lot of you know deals turned down, and it was a lot of I don't want to work with you until you out this deal with Boosie. Why do you? Why do? And and why do you think? Uh, these things were happening like they were when you was with Boots. Do you think that, um, well, you know why, because basically he was turning down certain things that he didn't want you to be a part of, but do you feel like some of those decisions was right for your, your career? I would say it was Boosie directly turned, because you know, because it's you got a team of people, it's, correct. It's, it's a team, but still it's like, um, I wouldn't even say it was that, because I'm not even gonna lie, a lot of people, I don't I don't know if they call themselves blackballing Boosie, but I didn't have a lot of people like important people be like we not even working with you until you out of that with Boosie like don't even call until you out of that wow. with Boosie like we want to work with you but until you out that paperwork with Boosie no and I'm just but when you got out the paperwork is this cap is these niggas doing anything you out the paperwork now where they at where these niggas at Nigga lied. <laughs> nigga be lying. That's what they do. They'll set up and tell tell you something because it's easy to. I ain't uh, gonna lie though. It's like I at? stopped dropping. Like I I literally stopped dropping because it was like I saw so much. It was like I, I don't know. It's just like. But if they waiting on you, where they at? Yeah, I can say a lot of people waiting now for me to start. Like I'm just now getting into the point where I'm finna start consistently dropping. Boom, boom, boom. I literally ain't dropped nothing on my own yet, except for that little. Mic check, but it's like I don't want to sign anything. Okay, but listen to me. Hear, hear me well, man. Like, like, is it really d distribution is great, you know? Mm -hmm. But is it really a thing where do you think you ought to build your team up around you first? Yeah, that's even? exactly because, what I'm saying. Yeah, because these niggas ain't really just doing a whole lot no more on these deals like they used to be. You got so much. Uh, you direct to consumer so much now. That that you can be. I was just talking to Rez Deshaun about this. How you know being independent is a little bit di different grind, but it's doable. He was in a deal, a big deal, of course, mm -hmm. and and end up you know after he got out of it or after he left away from that situation, he started looking at the course of building up his infrastructure himself because of the fact of like you say you got a lot of recognition. People know you, yeah. right? Yeah. So you dope. Everybody know you dope. Hell, I seen you. You dope as hell. Yeah. So it's like, damn, I need to just really build myself up. and, and, and That's what I'm saying. It's like I don't want to just, like, I can go to a label and be like, sign me with this right now, but I want to build myself up to the point where I'm, I can go into a label. Like, I, I know I'm worth more. Like, no, I'm not. I can't even afford to sign anything right now. I was in a deal for three and a half years, and I was just there. Yeah, but yeah. what what are you expecting from a label? Because when you went into this, I know it was just like I'm happy to be signed. And so at the time, Boosie. I'm not gonna lie. It's like Boosie, Boosie still is like right, still is my favorite rapper. And at the time, it's like this is my favorite rapper. I can literally sing every Boosie song word for word. I'm finna go. I'm I'm signing. Right. <laughs> so it's like I'm excited. And at this time, I'm thinking like I. I you know, but I can't really blame because, you know, at the same time, he's an artist and he's an artist that has signed a lot of artists. So it's like. Everything is a learning experience. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a learning experience. But he's still my dog. I still go around him. I, I mean, I still. No, but what, I, but what I'm looking from, from you is your next label that comes along and say they want to sign Nina Loretta. What is it that you're going to say, OK, if you can't do this and guarantee me this, this and this and this, then I can't do it. Like, what exactly are you looking for that? as a guarantee. I'm not I'm not even sure right now. That's okay. why I said I'm trying to work on myself and build my team cuz like I said every you can't really make it without a team and my team was badass. So it's like I've been around badass for so all these long. years. So mm -hmm. now it's like I got to build 
another team. So it's like that's all I'm focused on right now. I'm not really okay. focused on. I got signing. you. I got you. Yeah, it's, it's like. It's just a different grind. You can do about what you want to do, girl. Yeah. <laughs> you can do about you. T today's society, with this thing right here, you can do what the hell you want to do. Not literally. And, 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 and I think people don't really realize the power in what you can do with this thing. The phone is powerful. I'm the being social real. Media and is social powerful. media is powerful. And, and, and even the deal thing, like with the numbers I'm hearing with people, just social media base wise, it over exceeds a deal sometimes. I'm not playing. No, I do. I'm talking to these people. It's like, hell, you are the deal, nigga, once you get so far into it. So I think that would be my suggestion to you is to just be fly and go high. Yeah, that's how I'm doing. <laughs> so, you know, like, like, uh, what's your, who's your favorite top three artists of all time? Dead or alive, in the genre? Mia X, for sure. You ride with Mia X like that? That's my inspiration. You met her? I never met. I would Nigga, love to meet her. We need to, to go her. find her. You know, I know Gail. Me and Gail, my my partner. We need to find her. Yeah, we'll go I find actually, her. I actually DM her one time and asked her, "Can I remix one of her songs?" She never replied. Yeah, yeah. Well, they do that sometimes. <laughs> you know, she probably didn't see it. That's how they play you. You gonna she you gonna see this one day? <laughs> no, I sent it to I tell Gail to fast forward this whole tour. Yeah, yeah. I want to remix that. I'm shining. I'm okay, shining. I'm a, yeah, all right. I'm gonna send this to her. I'm gonna clip it and say, "Hey, man, get with me. It's my girl Nina Loretta. Want to do?" I, I, what is it? I'm shining, I'm shining and kill it. I'm gonna kill it, man. And, he, and can she do a cameo in the in the, in the if it's hard? I pray to God. If she it's do. hard, <laughs> if it's if it's hard enough, will she do a cameo in the video? Man, I work on that motherfucker for months. Why I let it not be hard? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I'll definitely be sending it to him. I would him love too. to see something like that. Not yeah. For sure. So, well, how did you? What makes her your number one? Like, right. like, how did you get into? I, just I, cause I always used to watch No Limit. I remember my stepdaddy when I was like in elementary. He had this DVD. We're like, oh, you know, they had the videos on the DVDs back then, and we used to have this No Limit thing. And you know, Mia X was the only female in the group, so I knew all her verses. Boom, boom, boom. I just you start listening. She was gangsta at the same time. Like she was never. I don't know. She just had this niggish mm. bad. I don't know. I just like her. I don't wow. know. I just like her. The biggest mama me, nigga. The biggest mama me, for sure. Mama, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we love our people, man. She one of them ones, man. I'm trying to, yeah. I'm going to work up my way to getting on the show. Kale, we almost had her. We just, mm -hmm. we didn't end up doing well, it. Was in New Orleans. Yeah, I heard she got like Orleans. a food restaurant. She does, something. she does. Yeah. That's that's one of the things that we I want. Gotta go. We highlight, and KLC, son, Craig, he got, mm -hmm. he he's a chef as well. Who? Uh, KLC, the one to do all their beats, the okay. one that's my partner. So I'm they telling. Got in New Orleans. Um, no, it was here in Dallas for a minute. Yeah. It was here, mm -hmm. real talk. And, and and I don't know where it's at now, but I'll find out for you. Yeah, please do. Yeah, I will find out, and I will get that. The message you just gave is going to her. Please. I can probably won't have to wait no damn I'm more. Waiting to do that song. <laughs> we'll ask her, but sure. you know the thing I can honestly say, man, is jumping out the window or standing on the ledge in order to get things accomplished. You know what I'm saying? The thing you, we just done. This yeah. is the way it goes nowadays. Social media is po powerful if you give Very. it the credit it deserves. So when you say stuff, you can make these kind of moves. You couldn't do this back in the days. So we got to fully take advantage of it, right? Yeah, for sure. Man, so um, just uh, how did you end up getting with Young Nation and doing that song? Mm -hmm. Y'all uh, think y'all bad or something? I think we have been following each other for like a year. You reach out to them or they reach out to you? No, they hit me up like uh, we have been in the DMs like, oh, we going to link up and do a song, which I ain't going to lie. In my DMs, it's probably the, everybody in Dallas who rap, let's link up and do a song. <laughs> we ain't linked up yet. But anyway, they, uh, we've been linked, I mean, talking about linking up for like a year. And they was finally like, Nina, you going to come through or you going to cap? Mm -hmm. And I finally came through. And, yeah. and when you can't do it, how would you feel about it when you I ain't going to lie, this is so funny. And they're going to laugh when they see this. The first day I came through, we hit a we hit a dab. And it was my first time hitting a dab. <laughs> 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 and I started tripping. Wow. <laughs> I, started tripping. Man. I started tripping. And I ain't know them at the time. This was my first time meeting them. I was like, man, I'm going to go get something to eat. 
I'm gonna go to wing stop. Wow. I love. I never, never came, came back. back. Oh, yeah, I knew she was crazy. I knew she was gonna say Man. that. No, she came pulled up Rick Ross. I never came back. Came in and left. Yeah, I came back the next day though, and when I came back the next day, we made that ass done. We made it like in two hours, and that That's shit. Dope. Man, how That's how, how that how the re, how the reviews been for you on that? Oh, that shit hard. Everybody fucking with it. It, it make you feel like okay, it's time. Yeah, it make you like it's time. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come with it. But sure, and it was so easy. It was like we can do this. This easy, you know. We can keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I think it's important to keep them coming. And I always been a Young Nation fan, so you know. So you say you did something with Lil Ronnie too? Hell yeah, I love Lil Ronnie. He been on here like and he the hardest. A lot of that time. nigga fly. He the talented as hell. Very talented. On the my guy right there. I get real serious about that one. Yeah, that's I don't bad. Play by, I don't play about that we one. We just dropped a bad motherfucker, though. When did you drop it? Like three days ago. How's it going? I ain't put no promotion. I, I kind of just dropped it out the blue. Really? She, she thinks she Beyonce now. <laughs> yo, watch, watch yourself. She thinks she Beyonce now, yo. Drop she it dropped. at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> man, yeah. I wasn't working with Lil Running, man. Man, he cool is he cool as fuck. His he, work ethic is his yeah, work ethic like, good as hell. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't gonna lie, his 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 process, uh, his rapping process is is amazing. Mm-hmm. So you gonna drop a sixteen today? Yeah, I'm gonna drop one. Man, let me find, <laughs> let, me, let me find out. You know, I, I, let me find out a beat because I want to hear oh, you lie. You got oh. me and red in the building. And you gotta listen to the lyrics. If I mean, if you can relate, you can relate. If you can't, you can't. Ball talk one on one. I play to win, never lose Pretty bitch, but I'm thugged out Bitches hatin' cause I'm on now I'ma show my ass with my tongue out Ayy, how can I lose? But the grind, I'm a fool Told the nigga I just want the money He can keep the bags in the shoes Sorry, ma, I like drug dealers He the plug, he a thug nigga Nino Brown, he the boss nigga Call the shots, he the top nigga Iced up, Johnny Dang, got on his teeth Yeah, he a fly nigga Something about him, make my kitty wetter Than the river dripping when I vibe with him I just fuck him in a red coop too Dash with the roof Let's mission. go. Way it's work, I'm a fool with it. Bag it up, let the crew flip it. Real bougie, but I'm hood with it. He don't know what to do with me. Kept beside the shooting at your noggin' if a nigga ever try to play with me. Raw bitch, I'm the sickest. Got a hood nigga in his feelings. It's me over all of you bitches. They know I'm the one, so they want my position. Huh? Diamonds dancing on my necklace. Huh? But listen, youngest with me stepping. Huh? Baddest bitch, he invested. Huh? It's the nigga off my checklist. <laughs> Man, I don't like know. Say, man, you are, boy, you out of control. You are out of damn <laughs> control, right? <Roddy>. So, <laughs> need a run in the building, y'all. Stop playing, y'all. To get want to hear some more, nigga. Pay me. <laughs> How about that? Just pay me. Say, man. So hey, we could have kept going, but you know, he man, wants you to pay the fee. Listen, so y'all gotta you got to pay, pay the fee, man. We're pay not gonna play with y'all, man. <laughs> but, but but you you can bring the money over here. We at Boss Talk One One. She is signed up. She just signed the paper. Just official. You know what I'm saying? I already I get them every time. I got a bunch of artists. <laughs> <laughs> Say man, so yeah. how do you feel like when you when you run down through that with the rap? You've been doing this for a while, man. Like a lot of people, a lot of a lot of young ladies uh, wanna they aspire to be like you. Wish they could have signed a, a Boosie to Badass. Uh, wish they could have had had grew up and been in a group when they was fourteen, fifteen. Um, like like how how do you feel about just all your accomplishments, man? I mean, I feel like. I feel like just keep going. Like one thing I learned though is never stop, stay consistent, stay consistent. Don't ever, 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 ever stop. But you know, I had, I ain't gonna lie, I was, and everybody know this, I was, I was like deep in the streets at one time. So yeah. it's like you can't be, I ain't gonna lie, you can't be one foot in the streets and one foot in the rap and thinking it's gonna go. It's never gonna work out like that. Wow. But then a lot of so people like, use the streets to pay for their rap. Yeah, they 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 do, but the and and most of them in jail right now. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's real talk. Yeah. Right. So it's like it's it's crazy because it's kind of hard. Like being a woman, you beautiful. You going to these studios trying to do this music around these niggas. How's you? How's you moving out here? You know, because you just, know I'm damn just, well, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie to I'm I'm beautiful, but it's like everybody who know me know I'm I, I act just like a nigga. So I'm like so one like of the, I'm like one of the. <laughs> Like, really? Yeah, you got like, a wallet and everything. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm on me, but it's just like all my life I grew up around nothing but niggas, niggas. and having nothing but nigga friends. So it's like 
do, you know. do, but you know how many girls that sit in that seat that can't decide for can't figure it out because the niggas coming at them big now. I done seen so yeah, many texts. Come, right. I, I, didn't, didn't I, didn't, I didn't I didn't learn like that. I'm not gonna lie though. That's one of the things who kind of pushed me back from rapping. Even when I was signed, that's why I wasn't even trying to drop. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I done had my manager hit me up constantly. Nina, send some music. Send some music. What are you doing? What the music? What the music? What the music? And I'm not cause it's like I kind of got discouraged with this shit like I'm making more money doing what I'm doing right now so I ain't even worried with this shit it's fake I gotta saw a lot of fake shit a lot of weird shit a lot of shit that's like damn I ain't know it was like this type shit cause you know you'll come a lot of people on the outside a lot of fans they look at artists and they they get a they get the wrong image they think it's a perfect life until you meet them you like damn this not the person I thought I was you know it's not the person I thought mm-hmm. it was but you said this is a lot yeah. of fake stuff so um because you have a lot of younger kids who are watching and uh, aspiring to be you aspiring to be you know that celebrity and not knowing what really it entails what was that thing that you came across that you like that made you feel like that like this is a fake like I can't deal with this I mean it's just a lot of- just give one thing the, the one thing that you can talk about just one thing so that they, so it would open their eyes to they like okay I need to look out for that because you came back into this business so it didn't just discourage you. But one thing I can say is a lot of people will, uh, for females for female artists coming up you're gonna have a lot of people telling you what they can do for you and how they want to work with you and they're gonna lead you on and they're gonna sell you your dreams the whole time they just want to mess with you right they ain't got nothing for you the whole time they probably just a middleman they can't even get to the big man type shit they that's just, true you know it's I gonna be that. a lot of that yeah, yeah like, but how count. do you dis- decipher the difference how do you how i've been you? i've been doing it so long it's like i know it's like I know now. So. Yeah, okay. real recognized, real Ron is hope. That part. Yeah. So, so you know, <laughs> um, like Boosie, you know, you know, hey man, uh, damn, I wouldn't have let you go. I, I'd, have, I'd have put you under. It ain't that they let yeah. me go though. It's like no, my contract no, expired. I'd have put you under lifetime contract. <laughs> you would have got. You would have got. My manager out. asked me to resign, but it's like it's like you gotta think of like it's like damn, bro. Like I sat on the shelf for three years. Like what's gonna, what's gonna be different? Cause I fuck with y'all. I really wanna rock with y'all. And I ain't gonna lie. If I blow up today, I'ma still have that loyalty to gonna, Boosie. Yeah. But it's like. I'm thinking you need you gonna put that badass chain back on while you blowing up. Man, I love Boosie. Yeah, yeah. I love Boosie. Right. Just, at the same time, it's like you gotta understand he ain't used to having no label, so he was growing too. So it's mm-hmm. like his art is really growing with him. He has some issues <laughs> with one of his artists signing, leaving, and signing a different deal on the back. But back you gotta side. understand this Boosie. He never had a label. He don't know. He probably he don't he probably ain't know what the hell he was doing. He probably just thought like I'm for the start. I'm like, mad at me be cutting up. He really full <laughs> energy. <laughs> but he's so he's so cool. It's just like you want to have that loyalty to him. But at the same time, he's still growing as a he. He's still learning how to have a label. So it's like you can't even fault him for not knowing how to run it or whatever the case may be. Yeah, but in today's society, where a lot of artists are trying to remain independent, where they're not signed to a label, is that something that you just be like, okay, let me try this independent thing, see if I can make this on my That's own. That's what I'm trying to do now, but it's like I'm trying I, to get in there. Yeah, I, I'm trying to build that team. You got to be cut, be oh, part yeah. of the team. Ball, you got the shirt on already. Yeah, nigga. What's up? <laughs> be part yeah, of the they, team they, for they sure. Don't know. I'm I'm signing everybody over here, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing. Just like Boosie, nigga, we got to learn together. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me and Boosie got the same thing going, nigga. We gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna shove you. We coming out hard. I got, I'm gonna guarantee you about four projects up front. We gonna go out right. Oh, we gotta wait. She might. No, I'm she sorry. She might not work like that. Let me that. tell you something. She might not it's, work like if that. If we start a label, like I'm gonna push. Especially, we would never sign somebody that we don't. We gonna put you to, through the. <laughs> Through group yeah, before we sign some you. Albums and because everything. let me tell you something. Hey. You can have the talent, but you don't have the drive. I'm not gonna be sitting down right. here That's telling you already. telling you, come on, we're gonna go to the studio. We're gonna go to the studio. No, I want a person who's gonna be hitting me up. Come on, we going. I'm like, okay, come I'm on. I'm going. Go. I'll be there. You have to prove to me that you have that hustle and that. You like going to the studio like that? Yeah, I do. But the thing about me. It's what only people who and I don't tell everybody this, but only people who know me and have really worked with me know I'm I, I'm shy to write around people because, like I said, I used to write poetry and shit like that. So when I write, I have to be in a certain mood, in a certain space, and I'm so big on energy and so spiritual, like anything can throw me off. So when I'm writing, I have to be in a certain space of place. mind. Yeah, it's I like. Get it. 
it's like and sometimes I'll be in the studio and I'll be like yeah, I ain't to, even, the you just wrong. sitting there. You just sitting there like, damn, I need to go home. This ain't working, <laughs> right? This All right, ain't working. Home. Like this ain't, this ain't. And some, uh, sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Like if I get on the right amount of liquor and I'm in that turned up mode, oh, I can go to the studio and go all night. Yeah, if yeah. I pop an Adderall, I'm gonna go. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I ain't gonna go all night. She in that old lit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if I'm lit, if I'm lit, I'm gonna go in there and go. Yeah, because you got you got to be able to be versatile because you never know when you might somebody call you and be like you got to do this right now. And and like I said, I used to write poetry, so it's that's like that's like stuck in my head. So like most artists right now, they do this punch in, just say the first thing they in mind. Like me, when I write, I I literally play the story in my head. Like I play the story in my head and I put it on paper or I put it in my phone. But like I'm literally seeing it go through my head type mm -hmm. shit. That's why like everything I talk about is something that either I didn't done or really seen or somebody around me done. Cause I'm seeing it before I write it. I get it. I want to ask you something. It's kind of off base, but just family. Family. How important is family to you? Family is important to me, but it's like I never had family. Like I told you, I, I had my mom and my stepdaddy, and they, you know, my stepdaddy was real abusive to my mom and shit like that. So like we moved back to little um, Winsboro, Louisiana. We were staying in New Orleans. But you know that's going through with that. But how does that affect you as a mother? See, it, it really just it, make me want to want to be better than her because I was I was treated like I was. I sometimes I used to think like, do my mama hate me or something? Like, why is she? You know, that's why I was so reckless. Like, even in school in the streets, I used to I always want to fight, 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 fight. I was like a bully. I ain't gonna lie, I was like a bully for no reason because I was always really pretty. But like I was one of them people who didn't realize I didn't even realize how pretty I was. So I was like, so after I had my Teenager. first baby, mm -hmm. so where I was like growing as a woman, because I used to act like a little boy, like mm -hmm. I want to dress like a little boy and everything. But I was always really pretty. But I didn't, I ain't used to do my hair, none of that. But when I start seeing how pretty I was, I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm really. I'm hidden in this hole. Yeah. I, I feel myself. <laughs> I know how it is when you see yourself and be like, yeah. damn, I'm here. That's why even to this day, like, people look at me and they think I'm so bougie, but I'm so humble because I grew up, like, not even knowing I was, I was, I grew up not even thinking of myself, right. like, I'm really this pretty. So I never been no bougie, stuck up, think I'm better than nobody. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm chill, laid back. But people will see me and be like, oh, she's stuck up, she bougie, she look mean. Nah. No. You know the funny thing about life, you know, um, when you talk about your mom and how you felt, have you ever came to her as you got older now and say, Mom, you know, why why did you treat me like that? Why I wasn't raised on emotions, so I don't know how to talk to people. Even today, like with my friendships, relationships, I don't I'm not good with showing emotions or sitting down and having a conversation. Like I I just go cold on you. Like I stop talking to people completely, stop talking to you for weeks before I express my feelings. But you know it helps healing though. Yeah it does. If you do because then you know, what we don't realize that the reason why sometimes a person is the way how they are, it could have been her parents, her mom treated her a certain way. So she don't know how to be anything better but but exactly what she was. Right. So yeah. but you won't know unless you ask. Oh, I say, I say, keep thugging it. Yeah, keep thugging. Damn it. that! I, I say, didn't, I didn't, she can I pass, she can pass that on. She can pass it on to her kids. Let me tell you something. God's gonna, God can change everything. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, it's gonna have to be her bumping her head over and over until you know what I'm saying. Till she figure it out. But I, I understand she got her guards up. Is what she's saying. Mm -hmm. And Basically. I, you know, so at the end of the day, it take a real gamma man to come through that thing. Mm -hmm. Let her get her guards down. Are you in a relationship? I'm married. Yes, what she is? What? Yeah. I, I actually dropped my ring off to get size. Where your ring at? You I dropped it off to, to get size because he was complaining because it kept falling. <laughs> He's all over her social media. Really? Mm -hmm. He's actually in federal prison right now. Oh, He's, I wait thought a he minute. was out. So actually, he had turned himself in last year in August to do six months. He got out in February. Right. And in April, the feds got him again. I didn't know that. He's been in there since. Wow. Wow. And when is he supposed to? He ain't even got sentenced yet. How hard is that on you as a as a wife? It's kind of hard. Cause it's like, damn, he just got out. He was out like a month. Right. Y'all had fun that month. 
<laughs> they knew what he was doing. No, it was like, we, we. She didn't know he was leaving. Know he we, didn't even, we didn't get to go on no trip. We didn't get to do nothing. It was a Are month. Like, he in his chill mode in this month. Yeah. So, really, he wasn't even doing nothing. I ain't oh, gonna damn. lie. He was wrong place, wrong time. And you know, when you just got out and you you the person you is, they watching you already. Of course, mm-hmm. of course. It just caught I didn't up. know that, so he he got you just got again. Caught. You got to keep God first. You got a family, man. Them kids missing mm-hmm. their daddy. It's going down. It's life. Life steps yeah. up and look you in your eyes and say, "Nigga, come on with it." You just got to. So go how many kids it. you have now? Um, including his, who mm-hmm. my step kids, seven. Dope, wow. dope, 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 dope. Love my black women standing up there take care of all them kids, <laughs> nigga. But they bad, ain't you? <laughs> but, say, but they but they ours. <laughs> so family means a lot to you. Can you cook? Nigga, you gotta be able to cook with that. You can't cook? Oh, you bit. lose out and can't bit. cook. No, I can cook a little bit. What's your, what's your favorite dish? I wish I could. Um, I ain't gonna lie. For some reason, my favorite food is spaghetti. That's so damn easy. Yeah, 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 every time, every time I tell bro. somebody that though, they think I'm crazy because they be like, "You from Louisiana? You do voodoo." <laughs> My, I got a partner told me don't be eating them girls spaghetti. He, he actually in now the building right now. He actually in the building right now. My partner told me don't eat no girls spaghetti. Like for real. <laughs> <I> get you. <laughs> 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 Say, but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me don't do it, so I ain't, I don't do it. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's just spaghetti. I complain. It's my spaghetti. I complain. That's your wife though, so no you can spaghetti. eat her spaghetti. Not eating yeah. no spaghetti Whatever. from nothing. She nobody. can't do nothing spaghetti. else to no, you to marry her. No, no, no. It's been 20 years. Yeah, she can't <laughs> do nothing else know. to <laughs> y'all married. No, we've been married a long time, man. So thank you for coming on the show, but you didn't give us your top, top three. You gave three us artists one. of all time. You gave us one, okay, and that was me. This one is tattooed on my leg right what, here. Who is it? Hell, I can't even see your tattoo. See Tupac. Oh, there you go. There you go, right there. The nigga there. I got a Tupac guy right here. Oh, that's so funny, because that's the picture I got on my leg. Oh, man, wow. Get the hell out of here. What a guy. Man, I see him when I get up. But, man, that's crazy. Tupac names who is number three. Um, that's the hardest. I'm gonna try to get a new age artist. Oh, really? Of all time, Young Thug. That nigga got a Rico <laughs> charge right now. He fighting the hell out of it. Mm. But it's state, as Melvin Foreman say, I have you know it's state. <laughs> mm-hmm. She can't think of the give right. it up. Give a Beyonce. Damn, Miss B. The oh yeah yeah oh, yeah. Let's oh, go. What's her name? Shantae Shantae. She hard okay. and a motherfucker. She hard and she underrated. I feel like she got blackballed. And that's the only reason she can get the recognition. You talking Roxanne Shantae? Roxanne Shantae. That's, that's the first Roxanne Shantae. She, she hard. Was hard. Man, she did you hear that Big Mama look? said that, on, that Big man. Mama song? Oh, she she was young. She yeah. Did she watch the hardest? Movie? Movie? Yes. She one of like the first the women lyricists like that. So. And she's so hard. You looked at how'd you run into her? Man. How did you look up? You just look. I ain't gonna lie, it was the movie. I the movie. After I watched the movie, yeah. I started just listening, and you know, I actually listened to lyrics. You yeah. know, a lot of people probably didn't just go back and just listen to it, but I actually listened. I'm like, what? Yeah. Is this motherfucker? Yeah. Is this you? This was off the off head. Off dome, just going in. Man. I remember them days too. I'm an old nigga, so I was like, "Damn!" Man, and I got in? this thing where I, co- I become obsessed with people, so I start going and watching all her shit. I'm like, "This motherfucker cold. Like, how she not? She ain't get she the underrated. recognition. She underrated, but she came out early though. And you know, it was, a male domi- that- it was a male dominated deal yeah. at the time when she came out. I think she dissed everybody though. I think that's <laughs> <a> <laughs> she was beating niggas rapping. Well, she, she dissed Queen Latifah. She she dissed every female rapper that was out back that's then. That's what messed her up. Yeah, she dissed him. Well, I listened like- to that. Yeah, yeah you didn't did. hear that diss. Yeah, Damn. she did. Boy, you heard it right. Yeah. Oh my no, god, man, that light is the one though. She messed up. That no, you can try, try, try around this hole. I'm, <laughs> I'm going with light, nigga. That motherfucker was hard. Yeah, man. So, hey, man, we appreciate you coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold to you? Um, Instagram, Nina Loretta. Twitter, Nina Loretta. Facebook, Nina Loretta. All my um streaming, Nina Loretta. Everything, Nina Loretta. Man, we love you, man. I you know what I'm saying. Show. And well, if you, don't, you. And we invite you back, you know. 
To show I'm coming up. through. Stop playing with us. I'm coming through. She I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have my lashes on yeah, next time. Yeah, I was time. just about oh, to say that she, too. I was, I, I, I was trying not to be late. Bro, I said I'm not gonna even disappoint them. You don't need no lashes coming in. Coming this whole mm-hmm. just whatever. You family. It's all natural. Wow. You too, time. nigga. Why are you trying to? Okay, she just let me know when you oh, go. Oh, it's gonna do be a nigga. I'm not coming that day. I do it too. I'm not coming that day. Hell no. I know what's going on. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a bosses talk. And we out.